Yo, what's good with y'all today? I'm gonna show you guys how to make like a weapon slash item giver. Like where you walk up to it, like you walk kind of through it, and then it gives you it gives you whatever tool or whatever you put in there. So yeah, let's get straight into it. So first off, as you guys know, there are like multiple types of weapon slash item givers. Like you can either click it or you could just walk up to it. The one I'm doing for this video is where like you walk you walk like kind of like you could say through it or just generally to it but yeah so you're actually gonna need a part this this is gonna be the part that like you walk to and, like you just walk you make contact with and then it, it gives you the item i guess we'll just make it like a little like a little box yeah we we'll just make it like a little you know a little box or whatever but yeah so this is gonna be our uh weapon giver and stuff and i'm obviously not gonna like make like a whole tool and so I'm just literally just going to like literally just get a tool and then you guys will see that it like it goes into my inventory so you guys can see it works. So what you're gonna do is you wanna in, you wanna have a part, this is gonna be your weapon giver, right? Then inside that you wanna insert your tool or yeah, whatever type of tool or weapon you have, you would put it inside the part and stuff. I'm just putting in just a tool just to demonstrate because I don't I'm not making like an actual tool for the video. And then you would insert a script, delete print hello world gonna make a function local to bounce and we're gonna set it that nice word bounce equals false then we're gonna do function get player parentheses humanoid enter <clears throat> then we're gonna do another function local players equals game dot players children and then close parentheses, we'll do enter again for i equals one, comma, space, hashtag, players, do, and enter. If players, brackets, i, or lowercase i, my bad, dot character. By the way, this will not autofill, like this part here will not autofill, so if you're just wondering why it's not autofilling, then yeah. So you want to do character humanoid space two equal sign humanoid then return players brackets again and I and then you can click enter or actually let's go back up so we can end this actually we'll put end right here yeah and then you could just delete this one right here all right there we go so we finished that part actually hold on i forgot one thing right here on like the, the as you guys can see there are three ends on the like after the second one like right here you want to do return no and then there you're good with the first part then you guys can just click enter and enter again skip skip two lines and then you want to do a function function on touch and then in parentheses uh you you can name it whatever your weapon giver is um since it's a part, I guess we'll just name it part. We'll do part. And then we'll do two spaces. And then we'll do. We're gonna make a variable called local human equals part dot parent find first child parentheses quotation marks humanoid. Then go to the end enter. Then you're gonna make an if statement if parentheses human the little squiggly line i don't know what this is called equal no then we don't want parentheses you can go out of them space and the bounce not, not the bug the bounce two equal signs again false then space the bounce equals true and then space again we're gonna make another variable local player is equal to get player the same the same thing we did at the top get player then human human inside parentheses space again then if space parentheses then player two equal signs again no outside of the parentheses space then return end then to space script dot parent equal I mean not equal uh colon clone I, I guess we'll just do lowercase clone but it, it doesn't really matter 
dot parent equals player dot back this will not autofill so you guys have to set that yourself uh, backpack and then for we're almost done guys wait and then you guys could change this to however long you want it to wait it's up to you it's up to you so you could, so you could put however many seconds you want for this we'll do um, we could do three yeah i think like three seconds that's good enough for like a cool down I, I guess you could say and then we'll do enter then the bounce equals false and I forgot an equal sign right here and oh that is not an equal sign my bad guys and there and there we are oh hold on I gotta capitalize this okay all right there's our script so then we could go ahead and test it Click play. We we'll go up to it, and then we walk up to it. Oh wait, hold on. Let me anchor it. I almost forgot. Oh wait, wait, wait my, my fault, my fault. <laughs> I forgot that actually one of the most important things. This will not work actually. Hold on. So you guys want to? My fault, guys. You guys want to skip it? Uh, go down a few lines. Then you're gonna do script dot parent dot parent dot touched connect connect on touch. I completely forgot to connect it. That's my fault, guys. Cause yeah, that would not have worked if we just did that. If we just did that the way, like without without the uh connecting all of it. Okay, now if we click play. Okay, there we go. My fault. Here. And then if we go up to it, as you guys can see, it replicated the tool. Like as you as you guys can see, there's like nothing in my hand because obviously it's just a tool, like nothing next to me. If I go up to it again, it'll do it. But if I you see, it's a three second cooldown, so it won't let me. If I go back, yeah, you guys get, you guys get what I'm saying. But yeah, so yeah, that's how you make a weapon slash item giver and stuff. As always, if you guys have any questions, any help, just leave them in the comment section down below. As always, I will leave the script in the uh, description so you can just check if you did anything wrong or if you just want to copy and paste it and yeah if this video was helpful for you to drop a like and subscribe and i'll see y'all